Welcome back, everyone, the race to 9999 VR with your host, Emmead, and oh. my guest for today, Troy. Yeah, about that. <laughs> Guys, today we're going to slow things down. We're doing the ASMR episode. And you know That's what that right, means. That's right, ladies and gents. <laughs> we're not going to be all breathy the whole time, but we're going to talk quieter. This is an episode you watch before you go to bed, that sort of thing. We're not going to be yelling at the TV screen. We're going to be playing it cool, calm, and collected. Right, Nicholas? Instead of sleepy time tea, we have sleepy time and meet and true. That's and right. And I know they don't really trust us. They're going to think we're going to be, like, screaming randomly. <laughs> but uh, I just hit Nick, and instead of going, oh, my God, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, got him. <laughs> instead of so, me going, wow, I'm just like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're gonna dial things back a bit because Enemy just had a long day at work and I lost my voice streaming earlier on Twitch. Follow my Twitch, link in the description. Don't follow Enemies, thank you. <gasps> and <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we're, 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 we're mixing it up. We're, 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 we're slowing it down because you guys said that we were being too rambunctious. No, actually, no one said that. Yeah, no one said that. <laughs> that was good, you guys. <laughs> Dude, dude, I made that sick oh. fib throw, and this is my this is my treat. What the heck? See, normally I'd be screaming right now, but um, we're chilling, guys. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're having a good time. We're Mario chilling Kart's about ahead a good of time. Troy. Yeah, this was, was the most losing, relaxing race. I was losing sight on what Mario Kart was about. It was about staying calm, hanging out with friends, having a good time. Right, Nicholas? That's right. Just, you know, beating your friends is just a natural thing in Mario Kart, and I just beat one of my friends, so. I okay. love when, I, I love when my Wii just makes, like, alien noises, and I think, like, it's about <laughs> to blow up. Nick, this is the track that I suck at. Uh, same here. I'm really not good at this one. <laughs> uh, I'm really not that Nick, great. Nick, so did, what do you think about Reggie, dude? Reggie. The Reggie. Oh, I, I know. I know. The end of an era, ladies and gents. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, I'm happy for him. Yeah, me too. Uh, he's one of the most like beloved people in Nintendo, in the whole Nintendo community. You know, him and like Iwata. You know, Miyamoto. Exactly. No exactly. one ever had anything negative to say about those guys. So did you did you see who took him over? Did you see the guy? I saw his. Is his last name legitimately Bowser? It's legitimately Bowser. I thought it was wow. a joke. Wow. I even tweeted about. It. I thought that was just like Reggie making like a final joke or something. You know. Yeah, I thought so as well. But then I'm like, yeah. wow. That's, that's no, awesome. no, his his name's been Bowser even before he worked for Nintendo. It's not. Like I was he gonna. It that either. was my next question. If he, yeah. if he changed it or not. Yeah. Wow. Apparently he worked for like EA or something like that. And um, no, his name was Doug Bowser. So <laughs> it's so funny. Wow. Um, yeah, guys, so Reggie, as we know, is retiring. Uh, he's 57, so a pretty nice age to retire at. Good for him. Yeah, Most for sure. Most people have to work much later than that, but, you know, he's successful, and, you know, he wants to spend time with his family, his It friends. makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah, yeah, so that's awesome. I'm happy for him. He's, I, very, he's definitely earned it, for sure. I almost met him in real life once. I got so close. Oh, um, I'll tell so that close story real Reggie. quick, because this is the, the ASMR this is the ASMR episode, so we don't talk too much about the races. Because if we talk about the races, we're going to get too amped up. Um, exactly. This is the podcast so, <laughs> episode. <laughs> and it's going full ASMR. Okay. <laughs> so, dude, I'm catching Lucy, but then Lucy just slowed me. Um, wow. Dude, so here's what happened when I met Reggie. No, I didn't meet him. Sorry. I saw Reggie. I didn't get to meet him. Um, I was looking for Reggie at the Nintendo booth when I was at E3 in 2013. And... I knew he was there because I'd seen him, like, there was some tweet that I think Nintendo of America sent out that, like, gave away that Reggie was at, you know, he was at this event. <laughs> and uh, it's E3, so of course he's going to be there. It's one of those really important conferences. The most, it's, it's, I think it's the largest gaming conference in the, in the world, E3. Um, it's right here in L.A. And I was looking for him, looking everywhere. And then some dude at the Mario Kart 8 booth told me like he just saw Reggie and he told me which direction, like he just walked right by him. So dude, I, I booked it over there. I booked it over there and I saw I saw this group. I'm not kidding you. Reggie was surrounded by like six other guys in suits and wow. they were all walking in a circle around him. And I remember um, I saw him, I saw the side of his head as he passed me. And then I got to see like, you know, the back of his head. <laughs> and he's a pretty tall guy, pretty tall guy for sure. And um, that was it, that was it. I saw him for about five seconds and I looked at him and I'm like, there he goes. And I'm like, God. And then he went he went into some like some side door and he was gone. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He was uh, he was gone. 
some some probably some business meeting i'd imagine so was uh, here's yeah. a real question troy was the yeah. view of his head all that it was cracked up to be <laughs> i guess <Sure>. <laughs> <laughs> is it cracked up to me i mean I, I didn't get to talk to him unfortunately um and i was bummed i was bummed for a bit it was like a, oh that's reggie you know what i mean mm -hmm. however yeah. i did on the recent e3 i went to i got to talk to the person who voices Mario for like 20 years, the guy who's been voicing Mario, Charles. You even, to, you even to took a picture with him. I did. I put it on my Twitter. Yeah, yeah. So I got to meet him, and I actually got to talk to him for a moment. So that was like, that made up for the missing out on Reggie by a few seconds. You know. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, for sure. So I have a question for you, Troy. What's up? Um, how many gaming conventions, like in a general sense, have you been to in your lifetime? Hmm. Um, does that include like comic conventions? There's um, some like comic stuff too. Yeah, I guess you, you, you could include that. Been to a couple of those, but I've been to E3 twice and I've been to PAX East twice. So, four major gaming conventions. Nice. And they're very, very different. You know, E3 has all the new stuff. It's all about the new reveals. It's, it's a lot more, there, there's definitely people the first e3 i went to i don't even think it was really open to the public it was just media you didn't i didn't see many people my age there to be honest um 2013 but they've opened up to the public and they're a lot more inclusive now and uh you see a lot more people nintendo fans or sorry just just fans of video games in general obviously it's not just nintendo um yeah and i love it but literally between races i was like okay nick it's your turn to tell a story so i can concentrate on the race <laughs> <laughs> and he just he just asked me a question right away. So nice try. Because it just... was going to segue into oh here's Arrow. I thought it was you, Troy. Um, yeah. So I so, actually so. personally I've never been to a gaming convention of any sort at all. Bam shock dodge. Actually. <laughs> oh yeah. Bam shock dodge. Yeah. So. Um, you ever want to go to one or no? Oh yes, I definitely do. Um, I I definitely want to go to a uh, a GameStone Quick event relatively oh, soon. Oh okay. Couple yeah. Of years. yeah. Gotcha. Um, I it was it was always a, a dream of mine as a kid to go to an E3 at some point. So I, I would love to go oh, to sick. Uh, yeah, an E3. what's in LA? So you can yeah. definitely make that happen. Yeah, we'll go together. Yeah. <laughs> oh baby. Yeah, yeah. Um, the the what's it called? The atmosphere is a lot different at like the PAX conventions than it is at like E3. It's a lot more about like the fans in a uh, a community. It's more like a community feeling. While E3 is like, oh, check out all this cool stuff. Yeah, you know? exactly. It yeah, makes sense. so it definitely makes sense. It's good to go to like both, you know. If you're really into video games, like E3 is like, is awesome. But if you're more into like the community of video games and not like necessarily like the games, like y you care about the people more even than the games, like you'll have more fun at PAX probably, you know. I believe Does there is a, a a PAX East, right? That's in Boston. Yeah, yeah. And then the other one is called PAX West, I think, PAX Prime, something like that. Mm -hmm. And that one is is actually in Seattle. And I definitely want to know the, the chain jump. This is cool, calm, collected ASMR enemy. We're doing okay. Even though we got hit by the chain jump, we're doing okay. What the heck? I can't, I can't I'm so mad right now at what just happened to me. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I somehow drift the wrong way off the ramp. Baby. You can't. <laughs> I, I'm, guys, I'm holding far left and R, and it drifts right. And I go, like, the worst time. Like, it's going to look like I'm throwing right now. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Another event I definitely would want to go to is TwitchCon. I believe it's in uh, San Diego, I believe, every year. Yes. I think in, like, September or October. They kind of hold it all over there. California. I've seen, I've seen it everywhere, to be honest. Oh, really? Yeah, no, it's not always in San Diego. Oh, that's cool. It could be in, like, Anaheim and stuff, too. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah, it's cool that way. You know, a lot of conventions are always in the same spot. Well, they do it a little bit different. Nice to get some yes, variety, of course. I'm just going to front this run this mode. TC, all calm, cool, and collected. Ooh, this that was my TC. This is the podcast episode. You know what? That's okay, because <laughs> I'm still going to be Troy as I have every single race thus far. So, uh, you know, business as usual. Yeah, you're jumps. getting very lucky. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I don't know how that happened last race. I'm holding far left and it goes right, like hard, hard right. I think I might have maybe drifted off the wrong way and then it wouldn't let me correct it. I'm, what the heck? God, custom tracks, custom tracks, man. <laughs> um, yeah, but that, that is that is rare. See, you can't even tell where to go. You can't even tell where to go. I just jumped off the edge. 
It doesn't even tell you the slope. You can't tell there's a gap there. Ugh. Oh, I almost got back green and almost last. Yeah, I, I don't know this one on mirror. I've never played it on mirror before. I'm not I good at it on it. 150 as it is. Yeah, I barely know it on I've, 150. I've played it a handful of times on 150. I know there's like a shortcut on the left over here. Yeah. Oh Dude. no, this always happens what? when I play this There's a track. random hole in the ground. <laughs> uh, Damn. <laughs> hey, dude, there's some guy named Team Nick in the room. Oh, baby, I love you and your face. You are on the right <laughs> team, my friend. <laughs> Maybe it was I Team Nick so that. so far died. back. But I'm more the farther Daisy back strategy than you is are. backfired, but it's more just not even knowing these tracks at all. Yeah. I'm getting wrecked. That is the I, biggest I'm okay sabotage. I'm this one in mirror mode, but I yeah, I've just been. It's hard. You can't even tell where to go here. It's like the angle. You're going up and you can't see because there's no, there's no. Uh, you're going on upward slope and they don't let you see what's in front because of the way the track layout is. Exactly. It's hard to explain. I'd have to see regular tracks to see what they're doing wrong, but it happens on a lot of custom tracks. These upward slopes into just completely blind areas. And these fire pillars. Yeah, know, that that's a suck. scary, <laughs> yeah, that's a scary, scary part for sure. Okay, this part. Oh, you know what? I have to use this now. There's I don't know where I'm there going. Is. Do it. Dodge me. No. Oh, oh, this is only two laps. Team Nick has a TC. There's a shortcut on the end. I just I have no faith in myself to make it. <laughs> it's pretty hard. Oh no, you need a shroom for that! Wow, no. wow. Am I seriously getting target shots from last? <laughs> did you did you fall in the same gap? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I didn't know there was a little gap. Yeah, yeah, no, it's ridiculous. He puts a gap there. That's so unnecessary. Uh, <laughs> it's so stupid, dude. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> How do you play custom tracks? <laughs> I'm so done, dude. Are oh you my last? Gosh. No, I'm not. Thank uh, God. <laughs> did you get? Did you get eighth? I got ninth. At least it oh, showed that I got you. ninth. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah, I, oh, I, dude. I remember you said that was a shortcut lap one. And I thought it was just a little thing you drift off of, but uh, I was welcomed by the nice little Lakitu. Have you seen that, that guy one before on 150? I've never played that track on Mirror. I was completely lost that for the first two laps. Yeah, that may actually be my first time playing that on Mirror, now that I think about it. This is certainly one of the most iconic and classic tracks in Mario Kart history. Actually, I saw, um, I watched it very briefly, but I saw that you were actually streaming this game, Mario Kart 64, not too long ago this week. Yeah, yeah. How do you like that? It's fun, yeah, I like it. I like all the Mario Karts. Um, it was my least favorite growing up, because I only played on Virtual Console. console. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> as a kid, I was just like... Not impressed by it, but I, I enjoyed it more when I played it the other day. After you know, it's it, it been about oh gosh, like 11 years since I played it. Wow, you know, that aside long. from one or two, yeah, aside from like literally one or two races at um at a like a like a little get together at college when some kid had it, he brought mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some kid. <laughs> <laughs> some kid. Yeah, yeah, but there there was this one guy there that was like really into that game like that was like his childhood game and he had it on um i think he had like the rom you know on his computer oh cool like we cool. played it or something like that i can't nice. remember but um he had double dash also yeah he, he had dolphin emulator i remember nice. so uh we played it together and um i did fine on double dash but on that one he killed me and he was like i thought you're supposed to be good at mario kart he said something like that <laughs> and i was like all right <laughs> i was like i've played this game once in my entire life shut up <laughs> But Troy, you're the natural born greatest Mario Kart player of all time. The greatest of all time. That's right, the GOAT. Clearly. For short. <laughs> I'll show you guys how to be the GOAT. Give me the Bam Shock Dodge. <laughs> That's how you be the GOAT. <laughs> I wish I could hear my volume so I knew when my star was gonna run out. <laughs> okay, I did that right. <laughs> uh, 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 that's okay. You know what? We're chill, we're doing all right, we're doing okay. I thought he would drop that for I'm sure. Calm. I'm calm, cool, and collected. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Probably doesn't have another item. It's all right. It's all right. I get ready here, I swear. You know what, guys? On Team M Need, I got this, all right? Believe in the I heart of the this, cards. I need to hold this. The heart of the cards is all you need in times like this. In times of desperation, you just believe. 
Sing a little song. Scream internally because he actually went through the item box before yes. he even formed. Yes. And uh, we don't get oh, lost. Oh, finally a good race. <laughs> finally, I'm back. Nick got 11th. I'm beating Nick in VR. How does... Dude, I, I love how like you beat me like the first four races, but I'm, now I'm beating you in VR because you've just floundered. <laughs> The floundering fish. No, these fins are not flapping fast enough. <laughs> no. Nick, Sorry. Troy. So, yes. I played this track the other day. We played this on the series, remember? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. And I got pinballed to the face, and I have not recovered from it emotionally. So I'm here to rewrite these awful memories <laughs> and bring it back. This track that is very near and dear to my heart. Obviously, I've been traumatized by it, so we need to change that. So here, we're gonna play it again, and I'm gonna get a top spot, and I'm gonna forget about what happened last time I played this track. I'm, I'm sorry to break it to you, Troy, but we're gonna add some more trauma. I'm sorry, man. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's not gonna be the freeze. I'm sorry to break it to okay. you. I'm, I'm a real friend. I like to be very blunt and honest with my friends, and uh, Jesus, what I, 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 I wouldn't wanna play like that, so. Uh... <gasps> Was, did you get bombed? <laughs> no. I did, you know what? It was a nice experience. It's a nice experience. You're it's welcome. My favorite you item in the, whole, in the entire game. Yeah, thanks, man. I may have got screwed over, but at least I was able to take someone else down with me. <laughs> Very nice, man. Are you, are you you're getting better at Mario Kart, man? I'm proud of you, dude. You're learning. <laughs> Shut your mouth, Nicholas. <laughs> hey, hey, ASMR is Troy. Oh. Hey, hey Troy. Troy. I'm right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? I am. That's right. For now, until I just pulled the broken. No. <laughs> yeah. Was that your pal? How do you like them oh. pineapples? Oh, I had a golden in sixth. <laughs> Give me another golden fifth. I deserve it. Oh, you know what's yeah. funny is that on our last race here in the last episode, um, no, no, you, I pulled a golden and used a pal on almost the same exact spot near that that hairpin Whoa. turn. Yeah. For those of you that watch both perspectives, <gasps> oh, <it's a> pinball. <laughs> you guys probably caught that and were like, whoa, the irony, the coincidence. <laughs> How cool. Whoa. Well, Nick, I bet you'll be happy to know that Team Nick is actually in front of me right now. Perfect. Perfect. He's repping you. I'm proud of you, my son. No, 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 no. What's wrong, so little bad. boy Troy? What's wrong? Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh. Oh. You guys saw what happened to me. You guys saw it. Nothing else needs to be said. I'm just gonna keep focusing because I can still get last. I need <gasps> positive memories. Oh positive gosh. memories for this track, this beautiful track. As I mentioned to you, Troy, it's not gonna end well. Just saying, man. It, it's not already. I, I'm already in like last. Sixth. In sixth. Not quite last, it feels like last. Another blooper! Does that box only freaking give bloopers? No! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> yes! 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, Nick has 86! <laughs> Did, I, did my red hit you? Or no, someone else hit you when I threw it back? No, dearest Troy, I sniped myself. Oh, because I threw reds at you, and I don't think they hit you. I think they clashed. <laughs> you just sabotaged yourself. I did. Do not worry, Dude. ladies and gents. Do not worry. I love this track. Same here. We're playing a lot of retros. There are a lot of really good retros. We, we like, glossed, glossed it over, but the very first track of the session was uh, Baby Park. And honestly, yeah. that that was honestly one of my favorite tracks as a kid growing up with Double Dash, believe it or not. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. I, I I don't really reserve the same opinion. It's more so nostalgia at this point. Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. But back then I, I thought that was the greatest track of all time, like one of the greatest you tracks know, ever. I, I didn't hate it. I just was scared of it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like it was just like I was just always like Nervous every time I got chosen, like whenever I'd hang out with friends, I'd play Double Dash. You know, I was just like, oh god, here we go. It was, just, it was that sort of thing. Yeah. You know, I didn't hate it or anything. Like it was, it was. Look at you, oh! Troy. 
<laughs> Whoops, sorry, podcast mode, back to ASMR. <laughs> Dude, that was so risky, but I had to go for it. You see what I did? I saw you try to do the I, shroom. I just powed over it. Oh, risky business, risking it for the yeah. biscuit, and you got the yeah. the scrumptious biscuit, it seems. How does it taste? Because I couldn't, I couldn't, like, I didn't even dodge the pow, Nick. Like, I literally used the hop, the, the hop from the pow, like, the little rotation, to get over the grass. You're doing some esports plays, that's what I'm hearing right now. Excellent. As as Nicholas likes to say, sign me to an esports <laughs> team. You know, you know what, to an team, team Liquid, I'm still a free agent, by the way. Just, just letting you guys know out there. I'm sure they watch all these videos. I, I'm, sure I'm sure they, they are. They're thinking about it. They're considering, Nick. Don't worry. They're considering. They definitely <laughs> Oh, Back to ASMR no mode. <laughs> uh, this is yeah. the last race of the ASMR mode, guys. I can't take it much longer. I, 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 I love how ironic it is that I talk about being an esports player and a free agent. And basically uh -huh. what happened as I was saying that summarizes why I'm still a free agent, more or less. So... Hey guys, look, look, I did a thing on a, a custom track. Look, I don't suck, guys. Look, I'm good at the game. Oh wait, this is a Nintendo track remake. <laughs> this doesn't really count as a custom track. <laughs> that was my favorite race of the entire season. I, guys, look at the mini-map is Yoshi. I've said that in 50 videos, but I'm going to say it again because there's going to be that one guy watching that's like, whoa, <laughs> I never noticed. Nick! Dude, this is the best episode yet. <laughs> We're doing more ASMR. I thought you would dominate during the ASMR episode. You're the ASMR guy. You this, floundered. This is the, 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 the anti-ASMR. No. Guys, we'll be back next week. Normal, crazy, out of control, wild, yelling at each other, insulting each other, all that good stuff. All right. Peace. Peace.